early. So next I'm going to move all the eye joists over and lay them across the foundation. Then we'll move sill plates into place and so on and so forth. We'll see if I'm strong enough to move one of these eye joists by myself. They're 24 foot long so they're probably about 80 pounds. So we'll see if I can do it. I might have to wait for Chelsea. So let's try it. It's probably only weigh about 50 pounds, so let's get them moved. I'm gonna end up needing help with that, so I'm gonna wait for Chelsea. It's doable, but it's hard. So I'm gonna get these rim joists off of here and see if I can't get one cut to uh, 20 foot. That way it's ready to go on the side and maybe I can get that over there and nail that in first. We did it. Now I'm gonna see if I can hump one of those 24 foot long ones into place. We'll see. My guess is no. So the manufacturer specifies how far apart you put nails on this rim board into the sill plate. The manufacturer specified every six inches. I just eyeballed every six inches and put a nail in. It ended up being more like every four or five inches. So needless to say, I put a lot of nails in these rim boards. I was gonna wait for Chelsea to help me put all the eye joist into place because it was kind of pain in the butt bringing the eye joist over there and then having to get inside the foundation to actually pull them to span the entire width but she was taking a little while to get out here so I just decided to do it while I was waiting so I got them all done before she got out which was nice I have to subtract two and five eighths from every eye joist because the rim boards are like two of them are two two inches and five eighths so so 20 Minus two is 19 foot 10 inches, minus five eighths, 19, nine, and three eighths. So we'll put a line at 19, nine, and three eighths. Now that we know where that is, I'm gonna come and put a square line. Now we're gonna roll the joists. We're gonna turn them up vertically and then nail them in real quick so that. To stand these joists up, we put them on the line that we had made in the last video, which is every 19.2 inches. And then Chelsea pushed the joists all the way up against that rim board that we had installed already and I put one nail in each side of the joist, which is what the manufacturer calls for. It calls for one nail in each side of the flange on the bottom going into the sill plate, and then one nail on the top and one nail on the bottom flange through the rim board into the flange. So that's all it takes. It takes four nails on each side to get them installed, and 
that's what we did. Okay, so yesterday we finished, I guess we didn't finish, we started putting up all the eye joists and I got two sides of the rim board up. So today I need to finish putting the rim board up and then there's three eye joists that we had a, a J bolt in the way. Um, I thought I measured to move all the J bolts out of the way but I, I guess I didn't do a good enough job. I'm gonna move it off a little bit. We'll have a slightly bigger space on the one side and a slightly smaller one on the other. So we're going to move it to 19 foot 4 inches and see if we can do 19 foot 4 inches on the other side. And we should clear that bolt on the other side. So, And then if we can do that, we'll nail it in. Okay, this side is toenailed in, the other side is, and that back side is, which means I have the south side to toenail, which is this one right here, and then the north side I just have to nail into the joist. So I'm going to do that real quick and then this should be done, I guess. The floor actually went together pretty smoothly. We didn't have a lot of issues putting it together. It was just a lot of nails and the rim boards are pretty heavy so that took a little bit of time but otherwise it went pretty smoothly so next we'll just add the deck on and put our subfloor down see how that goes.